Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on how to insert cotopin joints into a teddy bear. Although most good patterns will give you an indication of cotopin joint size, we'll also take a very brief look at how to choose cotopin joints for your bear. Our complete tutorial video series on making a jointed bear will take you through all five cotopin joints. This is just a little refresher that's going to cover one joint. The parts of your bear need to be sewn but not stuffed. You need to have your five cotopin joints and you need to have your small needle nosed, narrow nosed pliers in order to turn the split pin. I'm going to use our woodwood wood pattern as an example. Here we've got a leg and an inner arm pattern piece. Look for your cotter pin position marked here and it's this area. Imagine your seam allowance, once that's in place, half a centimetre. And find a disc that actually covers quite a good area of that. So that once your seam allowance is in place around here, there isn't a huge gap. On the leg, you can afford a little bit more of a gap once the seam allowance is there because a slightly wider space between the disc and the seam is going to make your leg a little deeper and we don't mind a little bit more depth at the hip because he'll sit nicely on the arm however we don't want that to be too deep we want it quite narrow otherwise he's going to be too bulky across the shoulders there is a very rough rule of thumb that says for every centimetre of bear from head to toe you need about a millimetre of width across the hardboard disc. In Woodward, our 33 centimetre bear, we have 30 millimetre hardboard discs. Two discs, two washers and one flat headed split pin make up each joint. Our hardboard discs have a smooth surface and a textured surface. The smooth surface sits against the washer, the textured against the fabric. We use a split pin with a flat head. Pop these pieces off to one side until we need them and you can see clearly split pin. Then a washer and then a hardboard disc with a smooth side against the washer. That way there's no friction when the joint turns. The textured side of the hardboard disc sits against the fabric for grip, leaving us a hardboard disc and a washer. Take a little time here to work out the back where your opening is of your bear's body and the top and bottom of the body. On the top of the body here, I've identified where the mark is for the cotter pin to come through. I've worked out I'm looking at the left hand side of the body, so I'm bringing in the left arm making sure that it's pointing forward and the pad is on the inside. On the inside of the inner arm, so that again, inner arm with the pad. On the inner arm there at the top, find the mark you've made for the cotter pin joint. And that's where the first part of our joint is going to sit. We're going to pass it through there. Now to make it a little easier, you can use as I am a pair of very fine point scissors or a knitting needle or even a pencil just to make the smallest of holes more to ease the threads apart so that your pin can pass through a little easier and give it a good jiggle push the disc against the inside of the fabric once it's through and make sure that your fabric isn't folded up underneath and it's nice and tight against the fabric If the fabric is bunched up, you're not going to get a nice tight joint. Right, now the body, we need to position this against the side of the body. So we need to identify again that mark, which is the joint position and make another hole. This time I'm going to pinch close to that position so that I can identify it. This pin is going to go from the outside of our bear to the inside. And I'm going to try and push it through that mark, right through the middle of that mark. So again, there's a little bit of jiggling to push it through. And there it is, it's all the way through. Now I have to make sure that it's really tight, that the fabric isn't bunched up. It's 
So let's fold it through like that. And here I've pressed down as hard as I can. And now I'm going to add my hardboard disc with the smooth side up, textured side against the fabric. Push that right down hard against there. And then the final washer goes on top. Now we bring in our needle nose pliers and I'm going to turn the pin. It's got a slightly longer side and a slightly shorter side. So with the longer side away from me, I'm going to use my pliers just to take hold of the very tip and pull it apart. So ease the two legs as it were of the pin apart. Pushing down on that disc, ease them apart a little bit more. And now, again, keep pinching down, take the very tip and curl it. And in little movements, curl it as tight as you can, like the back of an earring. Curl it around. When you've done one turn, like that, pinch it flat. We want to keep it level. We want it curling in on itself. We don't want it to go off sidewards. Again, take the the edge there and keep curling little movements turn it around we want it as close to the washer as possible there we go and we're going to do the same on the opposite side now still pushing down on the disc from the tip little movements little curves keep turning it around oop slipped off that little movements turn it around just a little movement don't try and do it all in one go Press it flat so that it curls in on itself and isn't going sidewards. And little movements. Keep turning it around and that way you should get it in nice and close to the washer. And that will give us a nice little tidy, quite firm joint. And that's done. That concludes our tutorial video. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe to the channel, give us some feedback and a like. There are more videos coming soon.